Colombians. Today is Monday, April 30th. Caravans carrying hundreds of migrants made their way to the U.S.-American border, and now they have to plead their case. The NRA faces scrutiny after ties with a Russian government official surfaces. The NRA appears to be just a bit concerned. But first, do you recognize this man? Authorities say he broke into a flea market. We'll tell you how this suspect made his way in. Good Morning Columbia starts right now. From ABC Columbia News, live from Maiden Gervais, this is Good Morning Columbia. Good morning, Columbia. Thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. I'm Christy Vaughn. Your time now, just after 6 o'clock. That also means it's time to introduce our newest Good Morning Columbia anchor, Curtis Wilson. He's live in Richland County this morning with the Live PD crew. Good morning, Curtis. Great to have you here. Good morning, Christy. Great to be here as well. And again, you know, we're here at the Richland County Sheriff's Department this morning. We're introducing to you, if you haven't heard, the Live PD crew, who, of course, are on every Friday and Saturday night. Got a big event coming up May 19th as well. Got to get them uh, to talk about that, too. So we'll do all that coming up in just a few. Back to you. All right, Curtis, thank you so much. We are looking forward to seeing you out there and having you get some insight into that live PD crew. And right now it's time to get some insight into that morning forecast. We're going to turn things over to Tyler Ryan in the Weather Center. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, good morning, Christy. Uh, a rather chilly start, but a very calm, calm one as well. Take a live look out across the way to our city cam. You can see the flags, the Palmetto State flag. Of course, Old Glory up there as well. Not doing a whole lot. Maybe just staying a little warm on a chilly, chilly Monday morning. But the cool in the air won't be with us very long. That is for sure. 44 in Sumter, 43 here uptown inside the Beltway in Columbia, but 36. Seven on the other side of the lake. A little light wind coming in from the north. Not a whole lot. Really not too bad. 60, uh, six miles an hour, rather, in uh, Winsboro. Five over in Bishopville. The Lizard Man, a little uh, breezy this morning. And temperature change, though, you step outside, you're going to feel it almost immediately. Yeah, it'll wake you up. Take the dogs out for a walk this morning. If you're trouble, having trouble getting up on a Monday morning, one eye half open, a little cooler. But still, that's not going to stay with us very long. High pressure still in control, looking good. It is going to be a beautiful day today, a Chamber of Commerce day, as a matter of fact. Bright sunshine, 44 at 7, into the 60s by mid-morning, like I said. It may be chilly, not going to stay that long. 76 degrees by the mid-afternoon. In fact, 77 is where we're going to head to when it's all said and done. Let's talk traffic, shall we? Right now, we're getting the all, the all clear. Of course, if anything changes, we will let you know. Christy. All right. Thank you so much, Tyler. We appreciate it. We do have breaking news into our newsroom this morning. Happening now, Columbia police are investigating a shooting in the 7600 block of Garners Ferry Road. This is happening, we are told, at the Lakeshore Village Apartments. We are just getting more information in from the CPD Twitter. They do tell us there is one male victim right now. Officers are working to gather additional information. We actually have a crew on the way, and we will bring you updates as we get them in here on Good Morning Columbia. A 21-year-old was killed during a car crash Sunday. According to authorities, the wreck happened on I-26 in Lexington. Troopers say the car left the roadway, struck a culvert, and then flipped over. Lexington County Coroner Margaret Fisher identified the victim as Sarah Shelf. Coroner Fisher says Shelf, who was wearing a seatbelt, died at the scene due to traumatic injuries. The Highway Patrol is investigating the accident. Richland County deputies are searching for four men they say are involved in a home robbery that sent two people to the hospital on Saturday. It happened in the 800 block of Chinky Pin Road around 930. Victims told deputies that four men forced their way into the home, assaulting them at gunpoint before taking off with their cell phones. Anyone with information is urged to call Crime Stoppers. That number is one triple eight. Crime SC. To Lexington County now, where deputies are looking for a man they say broke into the barnyard flea market by kicking out ceiling tiles. Investigators say on April 21st, the suspect, shown here in the surveillance video, stole cash and caused nearly $3,000 in damage. If you recognize this man, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers at 1 888 Crime SC. Supporters rallied to the U.S.-Mexican border to welcome caravans filled with hundreds of migrants over the weekend. Activists from around the country met for the March Without Borders to show their support for the people traveling from Central America 
who had been walking for months. The travelers say they wanted better lives for themselves and their children, safe from violence and poverty in their own cities. The migrants say they will not sneak across the border, but will turn themselves in peacefully and ask for asylum. President Donald Trump headed to Twitter Saturday morning to comment, claiming he spoke with Asian leaders about a summit with North Korea. The president tweeted, just had a very long, good talk with President Moon of South Korea. Things are going very well. Time and location of meeting with North Korea is being set. Trump also tweeted that he spoke to Prime Minister Abe of Japan to inform him of the ongoing negotiations. Now, during a press conference on Friday with German Chancellor Angela Merkel, Trump said they're close to choosing a location for the proposed summit. All right, well, you know him from Live PD. He's also one of the officers patrolling our streets. But did you know he's also a longtime communicator? And now he's the newest member of our Good Morning Columbia team. We are joined now this morning by our new anchor, Curtis Wilson, who is live at the Sheriff's Department. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning, Christy. It's such a pleasure to be here. Such a pleasure to be a part of the team as well. Looking forward to some great fun and also, of course, great information that we're going to be giving to uh, the viewers of ABWOLO ABC. Good morning, Columbia. Hi, Chris Blanding, Deputy, uh, let's see, Master Deputy. Got to get their rank in there just right as well. Uh, you know what? It, it, the thing is, is that uh, you've been a part of uh, Live PD as well. You're out in region. Region 6, Blythewood area. Blythewood area. And also coming up to May 19th, there's a big event that's happening with the Live PD deputies. Talk about that a little bit. Uh, May 19th, um, it's going to be at the state fairgrounds. It's going to be a big Crime Stoppers event. Um, all of us are going to be out there. You're going to be able to get your free t shirts, you know, free autographs, and get pictures taken with us. We're all going to be out there waiting on y'all. So. Come out and join us. It's going to be 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, I think. 10 o'clock, doors open. And I guess you can get tickets at eventbrite.com and search Midlands Crime Stoppers. And that's to help Crime Stoppers, uh, to help get tips in, correct? Correct, correct. Uh, I'm going to be there. All your favorite live PD deputies are going to be there. So I'm, I'm excited to see all you guys. So come out, uh, get your posters, get your pictures. Um, I'm excited to meet you guys. So be excited to meet me. This is Deputy Donnie Ray Campbell, my man. Let's go over here, Lieutenant Danny Brown, the community action team. Now, there's a difference between the road deputies and also the CAT team, which is community action team. What is that? Yes, sir. We're actually spread out throughout the county. Our main focus that the guys doing and girls on the team, what we do is focus inside the communities. We have deputies assigned to every community throughout Richland County, and we just take care of those communities. We find out what the concerns are, what kind of issues they're having in the communities and we help establish those relationships and long-term solutions to those problems which is a great thing got these fancy cars too as well all right here we go more of good morning columbia live the richmond county sheriff's department we'll get to you in just a few moments as well these guys out here crazy all right curtis we will see you in just a few minutes keep those folks in line right well, jersey shores mike the situation sorrentino has big news for the jersey boardwalk He's getting engaged. Yeah, in entertainment news this morning, Sorrentino announced his engagement to girlfriend Lauren Pess on Instagram. They were college sweethearts until they broke up when the situation went on Jersey Shore. They dated again after the show ended. There's no word yet on a wedding date. Well, time now to get the word on your morning forecast as you get ready to head out the door. Tyler Ryan is in the Weather Center. Good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Christy. I'm not sure which is worse, Kardashians or more situation. <laughs> Although I do love his hair. I'm just saying that. It's good, good hair, Mike. The situation. Congrats, buddy. 44 degrees at 7 o'clock today. Kids heading out the door, getting on the bus. 55 by mid-morning, but it is going to be a nice one. Look forward to the end of the day. Not because you're out of school, but because you can get outside and grab some vitamin D. 77 degrees. All right, Tyler, looking good. Well, coming up here on Good Morning Columbia, Central American migrants are trying to fight to stay in the U.S. Find out what challenges they face at the border next. We're watching Good Morning Columbia live from Manager Bay. Good morning, Columbia. Thank you so much for joining us on this Monday morning. I'm Christy Vaughn. We are looking ahead to a big day. Good morning, Columbia's welcoming our newest anchor, Curtis Wilson, this morning. He is live in Richland County, and we are headed there. Good morning, Curtis. 
<laughs> Good morning, Christy. And again, I want to say thank you so much as well for the opportunity to, to be back on television and, of course, be here with you guys on Good Morning Columbia. Great things ahead as we get into this one. Out here broadcasting live at the Richland County Sheriff's Department. And coming up, we're going to talk about some of the challenges law enforcement in the community faces as they work together and try to bridge that gap. And also talk about live PD and how those cameras affect uh, what they do at their job. All that and more about to happen for you in just a few moments. We are looking forward to it, Curtis, and we are excited to welcome you to the team. We'll head back out in just a few minutes for more Inside Scoop on Live PD. But right now, we want to get an Inside Scoop on your weather. We're turning now to Good Morning Columbia's Tyler Ryan in the Weather Center. Hey, Tyler. Hey, good morning, Christy. Sure, it is going to be nice. There's a, speaking of live, live look out towards the Capitol building. You see a little bit of a breeze now. Oh, glory, the Palmetto State flag flying out there for us. You can also see just in the corner. Take a look at the left-hand side of your screen. Yeah, the Willie B. Oh, a August, rather, is coming soon, y'all. It truly is. Cannot wait. It's going to be nice out as well. Very, very clear skies here as we get through uh, this collective Monday today. Temperature-wise, a little chilly. Temps in the 40s as we going. It's not going to stay that way very long, though. It's 44 at uh, 7 o'clock. A very nice morning. A lot of sunshine today. So as soon as that sun comes up in the east, the mercury is going to rise with it pretty quickly as well. 76 by 3. 77 when it is all said and done this afternoon. My goodness, it is going to be now. Let's, let's go ahead and talk traffic, shall we, here this morning as you head out the door. We are getting reports of a slowdown near the Harbison area on I-26. Also, reports of a collision at Clemson Road. Of course, we'll keep you posted about anything else that might impact that commute. Christy. All right. Thank you, Tyler. Well, we do have some breaking news coming into our newsroom this morning. The Columbia Police Department is working a shooting off Garners Ferry Road. Columbia Police tell us the shooting happened in the 7600 block of Garners Ferry Road. They tell us this is happening at the Lake Shore Village Apartments. Right now, they believe one male has been injured. Of course, we are working on this story and we have a crew on the scene. We'll bring you updates as it becomes available. In national news, President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence will be speaking at the NRA's annual meeting this week. President Trump has mentioned lowering the purchase age to 21 for certain weapons. He's also proposed expanding background checks. Trump has urged lawmakers not to be, quote, afraid of the NRA. This will be the president's third consecutive address at the meeting. Russian President Vladimir Putin says he's happy with the peace agreement between North and South Korean leaders. South Korean President Moon thanked Putin for his consistent support. Putin and Moon are in talks about working with North Korea to complete research and infrastructure projects for the future. Putin is inviting President Moon for a state visit to Russia in June. Well, back here at home, Arizona's governor has reached a deal with lawmakers to try to end the statewide teacher strike. Governor Doug Ducey says teachers will get a permanent 20 percent raise and $100 million for support staff with no tax increase. The Arizona Education Association, which represents 20,000 teachers and supports professionals, says it's waiting on an actual bill. This morning, we have an update on a charter bus crash that was carrying students and teachers. Authorities say 17 people were hurt and two seriously injured when the bus crashed on I-95 yesterday. Collington County Rescue says most of the victims did make their way back to North Carolina safely, while two remain in the hospital. The South Carolina Highway Patrol is investigating the incident. All right, you know him from Live PD. He's one of the officers patrolling our streets. But did you know he's also a longtime communicator? And now he's the newest member of the Good Morning Columbia team. Curtis Wilson joins us now live from the Richland County Sheriff's Department with the Live PD crew. Good morning, Curtis. Good morning. They're all here with me as well. Of course, Lawrence, Kevin Lawrence, he'll be out at May 19th, that big event there. We'll catch up with him and grab him. Right now, i got Garrow, though. Garrow's with me, Garrow Brown. And uh, the live PD cameras, let's talk about how that process works with you guys and the cameras being out there. Uh, you know, uh, part of transparency of the show is what we try and put forth. Um, so we don't do anything different that we would do with the cameras that we wouldn't do without the cameras. Um, and the camera crews we have, they do a really good job of staying out of the way. You know, so we can just go ahead and just do our job and um, not really have them kind of trip us up. Um, so it's really not as much as an issue as it would seem like it is. And that's the thing, you know, with, with the sheriff, he says, hey, just do our job regardless whether the camera's there or not. So let's talk to uh, Deputy Perez and talk about some of the challenges that you may face being out there as a female deputy. Uh, some of the challenges they think we're going to be submitting and where we're scared and we're not going to actually talk about anything or pretty much go forward. Uh, and we're just strong enough to know that we can just um, pretty much 
fight back, not fight back, but just let them know that we're here and we're going to pretty much do what we need to do and we're not going to fall back and get scared or anything like that to care of the situation. Yeah, I mean, being a short deputy and a female like that, of course, that could be his challenge. That could be his challenge. She's, she's awesome. <laughs> Hold up. See, I got Laureate on this one, so I have to get back on it real quick. Look, real quick, let's talk about, we were just talking about things that happen between the community and law enforcement, how we try to bridge that gap and the things that we deal with. And with the Sheriff's Department, how do we, how do we uh, handle this challenge? Well, first and foremost, it starts from the top. We're a direct reflection of our leadership in the Sheriff. He holds us a stand high esteem and, and we do that and talking with the community they have a face they, they know who we are they know we're going to treat them with respect and I think on top of that we're going to do our job and we're going to do it professionally and what's expected and I think that's what sets us apart from so many others there you go of course great team uh, and, and great team again starts at the top with Sheriff Lott we're going to come back at you we got some tips for you to make sure to keep you safe in the community as well we'll do that coming up uh, right now it's back to you guys in the studio with Good Morning Columbia all right. Thank you so much, Curtis. We are excited to have you on the team and we're looking forward to more insight from the Live PD crew. Well, if you have any questions or are interested in any of our top stories, just go to our website, abccolumbia.com, or download our mobile app for all the details. All right. It's that time of the day. We're talking the Royals. Prince William and Duchess Kate celebrated their seventh year wedding anniversary. William and Kate first met at as students at St. Andrews University, the couple recently welcomed their third child, Prince Louis. He joins brother Prince George and their sister, Princess Charlotte. All right, Tyler, I know how you love to talk about the royals. Is it going to be a royal forecast this morning? Indeed. The good queen would approve today, Christy. <laughs> True. Yeah, it's going to be nice. In fact, a very mild morning, 44 degrees. Yeah. Kind of a chill in the air if you're in the 30s, but not too bad. 55, though, by 9 and upper 70s as we get through the day. In fact, topping off, yes, at a very royal 77 degrees.